Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. I'm getting that somebody is very jealous of you, okay? At first, when these cards came out, I thought it was your person, but it's not. It's a karmic individual. She is so irate. Oh, my gosh, she can't stand you, collective, okay? Um, and, you know, here's the thing. You're not even, you don't have anything to do with this karmic. You may not even know who this karmic individual is, okay? I feel like it's a feminine energy. She's very, very toxic. Um, and at this point, her jealousy and rage for you um, has become an, an obsession that she cannot control. She feels she's out of control right now. And I feel like she is fighting with your person because, see, they're trying to manifest you back in. They can't stop thinking about you here, Collective. This is a soulmate connection that they just can't shake. Okay? Um, and uh, and not, only, not only can this masculine not get you out of their head, but you're out here winning. She can't compete with that. Um, she's, like, between the, the jealousy of you... And not wanting to let this person go, right? She just doesn't want to lose to you. This is somebody who wants to win at all costs. But what is she winning exactly? I, I feel like her hate of you is so intense that she's actually taking out it out on this masculine now. She's literally whooping the heebie-jeebies out of this person, okay? She is. I'm, I'm seeing um, physical fights here. This karmic is uh, losing her mind. She's, she's losing all control of herself. She's losing her temper. She's taking it out on this masculine. I mean, he is really getting whooped wherever he is. Physical fights, okay? All because he wants to come towards you. It's really this karmic is only making him want you more. That's what this is. Because I, he just wants to get away from her now. Like, these fights that she has with him, they're brutal. Okay? They're brutal. And she just wants to bring you down. Look at this. She wants to cause both of you harm. Okay? She's completely lost it. And I feel like um, your person... Or somebody here wants you to trust them, but you shouldn't. You should not trust. I don't think you should trust the situation at all. Because this karmic wants to literally, she wants you out. She wants to bring you down. She cannot stand you. Um, and this masculine just keeps wanting you more and more and more. Okay, but now he's getting abused by this karmic. Okay, okay. It's very emotional time for your person. Um, and they have no passion left. They don't want, they really don't want this karmic anymore. I mean, the fighting is getting so bad. Um, I'm kind of wondering if, if there's, a, I'm getting there's a masculine who may have even had to go like to the hospital for stitches or something. And honestly, I got that song in a reading. Oh, it was a cancer reading, I think. The song Stitches is the song that I'm getting. I'll be needing stitches. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, so now this masculine is faced with, they need to do something. They can't continue in this anymore. Like, she's literally hurting him. And not only that, but I feel like this masculine is afraid of what this karmic is going to do to you. Okay, yeah, look, they're fearful. Like, what did I get myself into? Um, what I'm getting is this masculine may have even started some kind of competition here between you and this karmic individual. You're out here winning, collective. Um, and it's not the competition you're winning. You're just winning in your life. I honestly don't think that you're competing. Like, you're like, what competition? I'm not competing with anybody. What you've done in your life takes an extreme amount of focus, energy, time. Like, you haven't been in their business. You haven't had anything to do with them. Some of you are even moving on. 
right? Um, going to changing locations, right? I'm, I heard flying the coop. So that's what I heard. So you could be even be in the process of moving right now. You got nothing to do with this connection, this karmic connection. But this karmic was put into some kind of, like they felt like they had to compete or they were positive they were going to win and do better. I don't know. Um, but you're clearly the one who's the victor out here. And yeah, you're just chilling. You're not paying attention to any of this. You know, you're re you may be in a time of relaxation right now, maybe rejuvenating from all that you've been through. I feel like you've made some major accom accomplishments, too, that have taken um, a lot of hard work to reach, okay? I feel like you're, you're out here being blessed, and you're very relaxed and peaceful. Also, what I'm noticing, if you look at both of these cards, you may be picking up on your person's energy. Look at where the hands are in both of them. You could be picking up on your person's energy right now, um, and it may make you sit down. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like you've gotten really good at learning and recognizing your energy from other people's energy that you're picking up on, okay? I feel like you're an empath out here. An empath, divine feminine energy, okay? Being spiritually led. And this karmic, she's got nothing on you. Man, she cannot compete where she can't compare. And that's why she's freaking out, okay? Because you're winning and she, you know, she cannot get you out of this masculine's head. And she's angry at whatever accomplishments you've made, okay? And nothing seems to be affecting you. She's upset about that too because you're not competing. You don't need to. You know, I feel like this masculine man, they're like, I caused all of this. What have I done? Okay, what have I done? All they can think about is you. Holy cow. Look at this is what, what look, they want you so bad. Um, and who wouldn't? You're in the world here, but you're releasing them. You're releasing things that no longer serve you. That's the energy you're in right now. You're walking through a portal. Do you see this? All of this around you is money and opportunities, okay? And you're walking straight through this doorway. In lightworker energy, very tapped in, very intuitive, being divinely led because you're getting downloads here. I don't know if you can see this. You're getting downloads, okay? You're putting up your hand like I've had enough of all of the crap, right? I've had enough of everything that's negative. I've had enough of fears. I I'm going to move forward through this portal into my new life being confident and fearless, okay? And I'm releasing everything that has hurt me or has been toxic to me in the past. So, yeah, and this person can feel just as you can feel their energy they can feel your release. They know that you're, they're losing you here. This could also be travel. It could be forward movement. It's you possibly um, changing locations, moving away. You know, honestly, if, if they don't do something to get out of that toxic situation and try to make things right with the one they can't stop thinking about, they're going to lose you, collective, and they know it. Their heart is breaking into a million pieces. For real. They are so distraught over this. They're so stressed out. This is a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. This person can't eat. They can't sleep. Um, and meanwhile, every time they turn around, this karmic is lashing out on them. And it's all because of the jealousy of you. Okay, she's taking her jealousy of you out on this masculine. This person could be, uh, this masculine could be having some, some headaches. I just feel like they're getting knocked around, I'm telling you. And this is something that happens to this person all the time. All the time. 
Like every time they turn around, she's like whooping on him. And he knows that he created this competition though. See, I feel like there was a third party situation and the masculine betrayed you and left you behind. And ever since then, you know, this karmic, she knows about you. She may not know you personally, but she knows about you. And she's been watching you this whole time succeed and become uh, stronger and climb higher than she could even possibly imagine doing. Okay. I kind of get the sense that it's being hidden behind closed doors. All of this... Um, the physical fighting. I mean, it's turned physical. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of screaming. I'm hearing breaking glass. This karmic is just going off the deep end, okay? And they're keeping it hidden. Or this is something that your masculine is keeping hidden. The fact that, you know, um, actually, he may want to ghost this karmic. He may too, be too afraid to confront this karmic. He's trying to hide his feelings for you, but he can't. I feel like she's seeing him cry. Um, I mean, at this point, he may be thinking, what's the point of trying to hide how I feel anymore? I'm getting my butt whooped anyway. Every day, every day there's a fight. Like, she's very diligent about it, okay? I feel like all she does is watch you on a glow up and then she gets more and more angry and jealous and he comes home and she she just goes off on him. Okay. So this masculine now at this point may be thinking maybe I should just I should just ghost the karmic. I feel like this is what he's worried about is an absolute crashing destructive tower moment okay he's worried about the biggest fight like he's thinking to himself geez the karmic fights with me like this all day i got stitches now right um <laughs> i've got a headache that won't go away and he's like you know i'm not i'm just he's depleted he's depleted he's injured he's wounded Okay, and he may not, he may feel like he doesn't have the strength for the last final brawl because honestly, once he walks away from this karmic man, I mean, he's already seen a lot of physical fighting here. He doesn't want to have a bigger fight. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? He's afraid of that, I feel. What's underneath this card? But underneath it all, this masculine cannot forget how you made them feel. You, you made this person feel healed, peaceful, calm, at home, safe. You made them feel safe. This masculine doesn't even feel safe in their own home anymore with the person they chose over you. Yeah, look, they can't forget you. The divine won't let them and they see you as an earth angel. They cannot forget the way you made them feel. It says on the card, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. You know, and look, uh, underneath all of that is the healer card. This is a healing card. There was something about your touch, too. You may have healing fingers, you know, healing hands, um, but you put this person at ease. They feel, at any time they felt depleted, they could come to you, and it's like, I don't know, maybe this person was thriving off of your energy or something, but they can't forget how that made them feel. You have way better energy than this karmic. They know how this karmic is making them feel, okay? All right, all kinds of battered. But you made them feel whole. You made them feel happy. You made them feel, I just heard, the, like the king of the world. Oh my gosh, and on the bottom of the deck. Guys, they, they, okay, so I heard um, 
from the movie Titanic. I'm the king of the world. And this is what, um, this is what the guy is doing in the movie, in the movie Titanic. So yeah, you made them feel good. Okay, but they got with this karmic man, and now I feel like they they feel very much alone in this. And they are feeling very stuck, fearful of the last fight, okay? Meanwhile, they know you're single out here. Um, you're on a glow up. You could even be in the public eye. Because this is light worker energy. This is divine feminine energy. But you see all these little dots here? That's all the particles of the energy that you leave behind you when you go. It's like, I kind of consider it as residual energy, okay? And residual energy sticks with a person. So I feel like this is why this person just can't forget how you made them feel, okay? But yeah, um, let's get some tarot on it too. What is this person going to do? I want to see what kind of action they're going to take. Because right now they're, they're scared. Um, they know that they need to confront this karmic, but they're afraid of the final fight because it's going to be a bad one. And if they're already fighting like this every day, just think of what that final fight is going to be like, right? What action is this person going to take? They're walking away. They want to walk away from the karmic. Yeah, but look, I, just like I said, this person's scared of this karmic because she's constantly got this sword up. Okay, she's always ready for a fight. I feel like this is someone very cold, very harsh, very brutal. You know, not just with her words, but in the fights. And this is what this person is worried about. Confronting this karmic. She could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I got Virgo on the bottom of the deck as well. Your person feels very much alone in this. Like they don't know who to talk to. I'm also feeling like the brutal fights have been kept kind of a secret from people. Oh boy, it's judgment day for this person. They're being told they, they need to choose a path. Do something about this, right? Expose how you feel and what you think. Tell, be honest and tell this karmic the truth. I feel like this has really drained them. They may even be praying here and the divine is telling them you've got to choose a different path. You got to choose a new path. It's time. Yeah. And I feel like these two could even be committed together or it could be a long-term relationship. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Virgo. Maybe an Aquarius, maybe a Scorpio. The karma could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, they have to, they've got to speak their truth. And they're going to have to be firm about it. They may be getting some kind of advice, possibly from, um, from like the police or something. The police could even get called into some of these fights. And they, they could be, honestly, if the fights get physical enough, this person could get in trouble for the fighting as well if he puts his hands on this karmic. Okay. I feel like this person's getting some sound advice from someone. Maybe even a couple of friends. Or they could find out the truth. Something could be exposed here. Um, that somebody has someone else. Could be possibly a Sagittarius. I'm just getting that. They, this person is getting advice from friends and possibly um, the authorities to get out of there. And what did I say? To get out of there. Seven of Swords. Yeah. I feel like there's people around them that are telling them to leave that situation behind.
Yeah. And I feel like, too, there you could be a cancer or um, you could be a cancer. You could be maybe a Sagittarius as well. I feel like you're the one they don't want to let go of. I'm also feeling like this person is worried about how they're going to get the finances or um, to maybe move away or get out of the situation. Like maybe they're like, they're listening to people's advice. People are advising them to leave this karmic behind, okay? They may be worried about their money, right? I wait till I get my money right. And I feel like... Um, there's never going to be a perfect time for this masculine. I'm really getting the sense that they're coming up with excuses of leaving the situation behind. And, and really the, the true reason is that they're afraid of the final fight. Because, because this karmic is brutal. Okay? Yeah. If they're married, a divorce is imminent. I feel like it's only a matter of time. Yep, it's coming. And this is also karma, okay? That this person, the longer they stay in this karmic situation, the more karma they're going to suffer. Uh, I'm telling you, or just the more they're going to suffer. Let's just say it like that. I feel like... Um, they were told with judgment out here that it was time to walk away. And, and they're putting it off out of fear. They're avoiding the situation or trying to avoid the final fight, right? Because they're afraid of this karmic. But um, I feel like there's more karma coming for them, okay? I'm also getting the sense that this, this could be the, all these people, right? Their opinions being shot at them to leave the situation behind. And I've got you here on the bottom of the deck. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, energy, maybe Virgo. You're in the process of taking control of your own life, pull, uh, calling your energy back, right? And growing something for yourself. You're totally focused on new beginnings and all of your abundance and stability. Okay? You're, you don't have anything to do with this situation. Yeah, see, your person is very afraid to confront. They know they're at the end of their rope. Okay, they, they have one more thing left to do to leave the situation behind, and it's like they don't want to do it. They're scared. This is a wounded warrior here in this card. Um, they're afraid to confront, man. This karmic, they're, they're terrified of this karmic because they know already what she's capable of. And she's like getting away with it. And this is a daily thing. It's a routine for her to whoop on your person because she's jealous of you. The star, right? She's jealous of you. You're on a glow up. You're out here making bold moves for yourself, okay? With a lot of strength, a lot of courage, a lot of confidence, going after the things that you want. She's jealous of your glow up. She's jealous of your popularity. She's jealous of your beauty. Um, she's jealous of your transformation. She's jealous of all of your abundance. She's jealous of, man, you have like a tuna fish sandwich for lunch and she's going to be jealous about that too. She's jealous of every little thing. So you know what? I'm telling you, she brings a hammer down on this masculine. That's what she does. She takes it out on them because they're in love with you. That situation, I'm telling you, is coming to an end. She could even be, um, she could have even done some, some death spells out here. And you're about to, you could very well be about to get new love. Okay, that's going to be a crashing moment for your person. Yeah. See, they want to be with you. This masculine wants to be with you, collective. 
Um, they see you as everything. They're wishing they would have gotten committed to you. And now, I mean, I feel like you're about to get new love, stardom. Okay, you could have your own platform out here, right? Be that empath, that um, earth angel, the spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. Yeah. I see you out here having a victory. And she just gets angrier and angrier and angrier. She may even tell your person that they're not allowed to watch you anymore. They're not allowed to have anything to do with you anymore. I feel like this masculine just needs to get out of that situation. Let's see what they have to say. Sorry about that, you guys. My battery died. Um, okay, let's see what this masculine has to say. Okay. What does this person want to say to my collective? I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I can come back to you. Yeah, and that's what's happening. This person is paying their karmic debts. Oh, they're paying for it for sure. Um, physically, too. I am finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. I feel like that's what they try to do to the karmic. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. It's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. I feel like that's what you're saying, Collective. You may not want this person back. They've made you wait for too long. Then here's the masculine. I've lost all control of my life. I, I keep messing up. Yeah. I feel like, Collective, this is your energy. I've lost faith in you, and I cannot see a future with you anymore. You know, honestly, um, you've been put through it. I feel like you're just done. You're done waiting for this person. You're done waiting for them to get their courage up, you know, to take a stand for themselves and for you. You're, you're tired of um, being mistreated, put in third parties, you know, not having people defend you. You know what I mean? I feel like you're just done. And now your future, it's looking so good and you are so focused. You're, you're focused on your abundance. You're focused on your home. You're focused on other things, okay? Your glow up. So I feel like, yeah, it, you're just done waiting for this person, and um, this is a cycle that's coming to an end. And your masculine, hopefully they get out of that. Hopefully they take a stand and confront this karmic. But they are scared, scared. Um, and she just keeps getting worse and worse. 